Hi everyone, this is the 3D model of Envis Raksha Combination Ferry and Rescue Vessel designed by UBC Naval Architecture students. Mission summary are shown in this slide, which are safety and affordability. We further will mention how we achieved operations, soft grounding, and other, other ones. Based on the given requirements and our key performance parameters, we calculated the value equation. As you can see, safety and affordability are our priorities. Obtaining the carpet plots helps us to find the optimum dimensions, keeping in mind that draft is our constraint. For our vessel, we decided on catamaran because it has more space, so more deck area, more stable, so it will serve us well for rescue operation. And we also have less resistance and can go in higher speeds, but uh, will cost uh, more than a monohull. So to reduce the cost, we use mostly straight lines and minimize um, complex curvatures. The presented below is the generalization plan with uh, three different colors. The red one shows the crew area, blue shows the passenger area, and green shows the cargo area. Uh, as such, the passenger seating area is provided for 100% capacity with two decks, one in the main deck, one in the upper deck so that there can be no chaos when they're arriving at the master station. This master station can also be used for three-point turn for the cars when they're loading and unloading. And in the profile view, you can see that we are using the overboard engines with the propeller shaft, which can be lifted in case of any grounding and machinery space going forward, and we are going away without ballast tanks so that there is no drag and fuel efficiency can be improved. The life rafts are provided of 100% capacity on either side, and the life jackets are provided for all the passengers and also extra for any rescue operations. And the bridge has been raised by a meter to provide good vision for 360 degrees without any hassle and the passengers are avoided around the bridge so that there cannot be any chaos or disturbance to them. This is a 3D model which is showing with a full loaded cargo and a rescue arrangement. As we got less draft, this can be used also for rescue purposes. IR class rules were used to design the scantlings and long tunnel framing was selected to avoid the number of periods to construct. We analyzed the structure using finite element method with a deck loading and soft grounding, we are safe by a factor of safety of three. Stability was analyzed using IMO criteria and we are safe until 40 degrees, which is not gonna happen in river water. We analyzed how many people can be rescued and it's safe to rescue 10 people without a heel of one degree as the upsetting moment for 10 people would be six ton meters and for one degree it's 77 ton meters, which is 10 times higher. For the Swibis breakdown, we were able to get the price down to a 1.07 million tag. Uh, this was done using a bottom up and a top down approach. Looking at the comparable vessel of uh, 1.31 million, we, uh, we were able to refine the ramp operation a little bit better. And considering their slightly higher capacity, our, our estimate should be uh, accurate and competitive. Looking into the mission summary, we, uh, we added focuses of safety and affordability. Um, so our objectives were achieved and also focusing on our operations we were able to achieve a soft grounding and we also looked deeply into loading and safety operations.